Good morning. It is the second Monday of 2024. It is still raining. It started raining on News Day and it's still raining. But I thought I'd bring you guys along for a little bit of blah, 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 a little bit of a weekly vlog because I just have so much going on at the moment, which is so exciting. Um, I'm not gonna lie, last week, I feel like, let's start again. I get really, really excited for the first year, first year, okay, let me start again, again. I get really, really excited for the first week of the new year. I love to like start, set new routines and like be really productive and just like be my best self, set the tone for the year. Last week was not like that and it really rattled me, but I feel like that's just because I always do that. So I was so, so flat. I literally was like just so upset all the time. I was so exhausted. I just didn't want to do anything. It was bad. But now I feel really good. I'm really, really sore today. I raced on Saturday um, on the sand, which was so much fun. I was really looking forward to it. And I did quite well. I was quite happy. So I'm going to attach some videos because I don't think I've ever showed you guys any of my beach racing, which is like what I literally do. So here are some videos of how I went in the sprint and the flags. I raced on Saturday and then I'm racing for three days this weekend, which was like a bit of a last minute decision. I actually was never supposed to be racing, but now I am. So I've got to go to Sydney on Thursday, which means my work week is cut very short. I've only got three days to do like six days of work. So we're going to be grinding. Okay, that's enough of me talking. I really want to, in my vlogs now, like talk less because I feel like you guys probably don't want to hear what I'm saying. I want to do more things and take you more places, but I just get so embarrassed taking my camera in public which I shouldn't be, like it's literally my job, but I do, I get shy. I'm actually a shy person sometimes. This is how you know you are an adult. So I went to this shop and I've come home with new spoons. They're so cute though, look at them. From St. Bart's. In case you're wondering, but they're gorgeous and I can't wait to use them with my oats. I have not stopped filming since 6 a.m. It's currently nearly one and I've hit a major wall. I have no creative juices left. We're not done. In 2024, we, we don't procrastinate anymore. So I'm gonna make some food and we're gonna get back to work. tell by my hair that was freshly washed and the color of my activewear right now the humidity is so bad it's literally at 90 percent and i haven't seen the sun in nine days so it's really really hot um i just had gym my first and my last session for the week because it's race week which is so exciting it's only tuesday and i'm pretty much wrapping up my week which is fun Gym was so good. My reps are so low at the moment. I literally have like three sets of two of everything, which is so fun. And it's heavy and we love it. Anyways, now I'm off to go get a massage for like, I guess, recovery from the weekend and also to prepare for this weekend. Some of my muscles are like literally hanging off by a thread. So I need to get myself fixed up. And then I'm going to go to the surf club and I'm going to do a crank session, which is like a bike session, but a little bit different. The crank is like, it makes you like pedal like you're running. So you have to like lift your knees up really high and you also have to dorsiflex your foot like this in order for the pedals to go around. So it's like replicating running and getting your knees up because I don't get my knees up when I run. That was so good. Just had my massage, one hour, all on the lower back and the glutes. It was so needed. It was like the, one of the most painful ones I've ever had though because my body is just like, that tight. All right, now we're gonna pop our runners on and we're gonna go do our bike session. It actually only goes for six minutes, may I add. So if you think I'm about to go attack some 40 minute intense workout, I'm not. Okay, thank the Lord this session is only six minutes because my headphones are dead. So I have to do this in dead silence in the basement of the surf club. Okay, let's get it. So pretty much 
What's different is I have both legs down on my like normal bike, and I have to like do it one at a time and get it all the way over and keep my foot dorsally flexed so that I don't lose momentum. Okay, I'm dripping and that was only six minutes of exercise. Excuse Oakley's toy, it's really wrecking the vibe. But I took our Christmas tree down yesterday and I am like literally obsessed with our house. Like we just got it. Like the week we got it when I furnished it, like obviously I was so obsessed and then I've just been used to it. Now I'm so obsessed with it again because I didn't realize how ugly that Christmas tree was. It was horrible. I was getting like DMs going, mm, that Christmas tree could do with some better decorating. And I was like, piss off. But it's true. It's so true. Anyways, I'm making dinner. Last night, so Monday night and tonight, Tuesday night, I'm having steak to get my iron up and my energy up for my race weekend. I'm gonna try to have chicken and seafood Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm racing Friday. I'm still trying to sort of figure out like my like night before racing dinner. I like to just eat the exact same thing as normal because I don't wanna like upset my stomach, which is pretty much just like a piece of meat, like some carb and some veg. So I'm thinking since I'll be in Sydney, I'll just have like fish bowl and just have like rice, chicken and veggies. Good morning, happy Wednesday. It's 4 a.m. I've just gotten up to go to sunrise. And on the forecast, this was like the first day where it was supposed to not rain. We thought we might actually get a sunrise. I've been going every day for God knows how long. And it's just been raining every morning. I've woken up to the sound of rain. I need the sun so desperately. The sun is finally out. Finally. I've got a feeling today is gonna to be an amazing day. First of all, got my oats here. If you look closely at my oats, you might see that this is a different color to normal. Can't tell you why, but <laughs> so exciting. Also, one of my goals for 2024 after listening to the Pursuit of Wellness podcast so, so much and religiously and 10 times over, trying to pick more natural, clean ingredients for my body and for my health. One of them being natural deodorant. Kind of was like half on the fence last year. I was like half using it, but now I'm fully committing. And I can't stop putting this on because it smells so good. And it's just so like nourishing, don't you reckon? Like my skin, I don't really have sensitive skin, but normal deodorant was literally making my skin like break out into a rash. So now I feel like that was my sign. My body wants the natural one. So I'm using that and I feel, I'm not gonna show you my pits cause like people might have weird fetishes or something, but like my pits feel really nourished and moisturized. <laughs> In case you wanted to know. Guys, I put on some fresh Invisalign today and my teeth literally look like they're plastic. They're so shiny. And they look huge! It's on my way to my last training session of the week and it's only Wednesday. I am so, so excited to go to Sydney tomorrow. I just love Sydney. And I'm staying like quite close to the beach and I just like love the Bondi to Could You Walk. Like, oh, excited. And my mum's meeting me from Melbourne. So Sydney's in the middle of both of us. So we're both meeting together and i'm just so excited to just have fish bowl to race every day to try new restaurants i'm so excited and the best part i got all my work done for monday to wednesday i literally gave myself a ridiculous workload i didn't think i'd even get like halfway through it and i managed to finish all of it so now the thought of racing without the stress of having shit to do makes me so excited because I don't think I've ever experienced that before so I'm off to training it's on the sand which is like I feel like this day couldn't get any better I am not the biggest fan of training on the track because I race on sand mostly so training is actually at the beach tonight and I know that it's going to be a really easy session for me because I'm racing in like 36 hours so and then I'm having prawns for dinner I've had my steak for Monday Tuesday I got that out the way and now I'm having prawns, which is like my favorite, probably my favorite dinner of all time at the moment. So it's just such a great day. Today is the day we leave for Sydney and I'm so excited. I have so much stuff to get done before I go, like packing, I've got a shoot. 
Um, lots of uploads. I've got to go pick up some things from the furniture shop that I've left for weeks. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Anyways, I thought I'd let you guys know that for the past week, I have been mouth taping in my sleep. So basically you put tape on your mouth and it forces you to nose breathe because nose, nose breathing is so much more beneficial than mouth breathing. And I need to do a little bit more research to sort of figure out the benefits. I'm sort of just experimenting with it at the moment. But I did hear on Mari's podcast that there was a study between two twins. One of them was a mouth breather. One of them was a nose breather in their sleep. And the mouth breather actually ended up being significantly uglier because apparently the way it shapes your face that's kind of like, I just find that really funny. So that's not why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it to be more attractive, but I've been testing it out and I was worried about it at the start because I thought if my mouth is covered in my sleep, surely I'm going to suffocate and I won't, and I might die in my sleep, but it's actually really relaxing and I love it. So I'm going to put a little photo on the screen and show you what Boyd has stood like see every time he comes into the bedroom. So I go to bed a little bit earlier than Boyd and he like will watch a movie and then he'll meet me up in bed a few hours later, sometimes. And the first night I wore mouth tape, I didn't tell him I was gonna be wearing it. And he came into bed and was like, what the fuck is on your face? So I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm waking up so much like better rested and I'm also waking up less in the night. So on your whoop, if you track your sleep, you can see how many like times you wake up in the night and how much time you've lost in the night and mine is so much lower and I just feel like so much more energized and if anyone else watching this uses mouth tape in their sleep please let me know some of the benefits because I'd love to know all right time for breakfast I just finished shooting and I have a mad headache and <laughs> I'm at the point now where I can't tell I've had a few of these this week I can't tell if it's because I've had too much caffeine or if I'm having caffeine withdrawals and need more. Like, I'm just gonna have more. I'm just packing for my race. And this is like the most essential thing when I have consecutive days of racing. It's my like Normatec boots. Are you coming with me to Sydney? Huh? Are you coming? On a holiday? On an aeroplane? like fuck no not again okay we are actually on time and i'm wearing casual clothes to the airport for the first time in my life um my whoop strain literally went from 7 to 13 packing that's how like much running around i did i probably was at like a consistent 150 heart rate and i'm like dripping in sweat right now also I completely forgot this is like a blessing um i'm flying business class to Sydney, it was actually cheaper than economy somehow. So I'm playing business for the first time. Rocking up in style. Okay, wish me luck in carrying both of them on my shoulder that are probably like 30 kilos. So I got my big ass battery. I gotta carry that for about two Ks in 30 degree heat. Hello. I literally just walked in the door of the place and let's do a little live room tour. I have not seen anything more than what I can see right now. So she's kind of cute. I like this couch. Love, and I love that print. She's cute. This is a nice, oh, we've got a pool. This outdoor area is nice. My mom's gonna love this. The kitchen is like very modern. I love it. It's like really small, but like also like all that you need. Ooh, nice bathroom. And then bedroom. This is cute. I'm not sure about the polka dot walls, but this is my room and I am a big fan. I'm dressed. I actually feel so nauseous. Something about Ubers every time I get in one, I feel so car sick and I just have no appetite. So also I know I'm from Melbourne, but daylight savings is so wild to me. Like it's 7 p.m. and it is like, the sun's not even going down. Like, I'm not even hungry. I feel like I just had lunch. I did actually eat two lunches though because I had the lunch on the business class because they offer you free lunch. So I was like, why not? I am so happy to be here. I love Sydney so much. I've actually like been here quite a lot. Long story short, I 
in 2020 was on a TV show and we filmed in Sydney, which meant I got to escape lockdown in Melbourne, which meant I was in Sydney for a long time. So I pretty much just like stayed because I was like, there's no point going back to Melbourne if they're in lockdown. So I like lived in Sydney on my own for three months and I lived in like a hostel in Bondi. I was like 19 at the time. Um, it was so much fun. I literally love it so much. But one thing I did notice living, well, I didn't live in Sydney for that long, but being in Sydney for so long, I don't know if it's a Bondi thing, but people stare, full on stare you down. Like every time I'd walk down the street and I'm not like trying to say, oh, people staring at me. Like everyone, like old people, young people, you walk past someone and it's almost like everyone in Bondi knew each other. And the fact that like there was someone new there, like who's this bitch? Cause people like you'd walk past them and they would just hold eye contact staring at you the whole way down the street. And every time I go, it happens. It's so weird. It's so humid. And hilly and coochie. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see the droplets all over my face, but oh my God, it is so, so humid. And Kuji is so hilly. Update, no starers in Kuji, which is great. But there was one mum in Woolies, like yelling at her kids, making a big fuss. So I looked at her to like, look at what was going on. And she looks at me and goes, what are you looking at? I was like, this lighting is so much better how much I'm sweating right now. So I have a feeling that when I'm racing, I'm not gonna really be eating because I don't get rest, it's just like go, go, go. So I've just got things that I can like snack on, but no like main meals or anything. So we've got hot cross buns, mini ones, so I can just stuff it all in my mouth at once. I got strawberries for dessert tonight with my yogurt and for my brekkie. I've got some banana Yoro Pro and also a big tub of vanilla. Some frozen blueberries to just have with my oats some bananas, I got some red frogs and also some jelly beans, got some kombucha, trying to not drink as much Pepsi Max, so I got that, and I also got some energy drinks for pre-race when I am dying and need some caffeine, and they're small so I can just like skull it. But I just got the crispy chicken and had have sushi rice as my base, which I'm so excited to devour, but I have a few uploads to do first. And then we'll eat my dinner and I'm going to sit under the aircon and fix my liquid moustache. I know I've only been here for about an hour and a half, but I think I could live here forever. Okay, I just made this like yogurt bowl with Yopro, strawberries, blueberries, peanut butter and like a little pinch of um, Loving Earth cacao bikinis. I'm actually not that hungry. I don't know why I made so much, but I'm just like... I feel like I haven't eaten enough to back up tomorrow. Like I did this comp last year and I know how tough it is. And I feel like I need a lot of food to be able to get through it. But at the same time, I'm so full from my fish bowl. But I just feel like over the course of the day, I haven't had enough food. So it's tricky. I find nutrition leading up to races and in between races is just so tricky. Especially for sprinting, it's really hard. I feel like there's not much information out there. So... I'm going to eat, shower, and bed. Good morning. Excuse my hair, I have literally woken up with a mullet, but um, it's race day. I went to bed at like 9.30 and just woke up at 7.30 and I don't really feel that well rested. I also have woken up really congested and feel like I'm getting sick. And considering what I'm about to put my body through over the next three days, there is no way my body's gonna fight this. So, great timing. Anyways, I thought I should probably tell you what the hell I'm doing here. So this competition is like beach sprinting. It's called Super Surf League Teams. And it's kind of hard to explain if you don't do surf life saving, but I feel like the best way to explain it is it's kind of like a bit of like a mini nationals in a way. Like I'm representing um, Queensland, but at this competition, rather than representing like just the whole state, each state kind of is divided into like regions. So I'm representing Queensland country. Then there's like a Sunshine Coast team. There's like a South Coast team and there's some other team. And then like New South Wales has a couple. Victoria has like two teams, like depending on the size of the state is also depends how many teams they have. 
So it's kind of like nationals, but racing for your like region in a way. Maybe like 16 teams, I think. And there's also a team coming from California, which is really cool. Um, and like the whole point of the competition is like for a team to win. So if you come first, you get like 16 points. If you come last, you get one point and you want to obviously do really well. And then your team has like, and then they'll have like an overall placing of what team won. The organization like Surf Life Saving Queensland pick the teams and then Life Saving Victoria pick their teams and so on. Anyways, my schedule. Today I start 12 at 12 and I finish at four, but tomorrow I start at 7.30 and finish at 11 and same with Sunday. And I have beach sprint, beach relay, beach flags every day. And I also have to do the first leg in this Taplin relay, which is kind of like a team Ironman. And I have to run like 200 meters on the sand and then tag the swimmer so they can start. That's the hardest part of the whole day and it's the last event. But so I pretty much have to do all those four events every day for four days, which is like the most volume I've ever put my body through. I did it last year and I literally thought I was gonna die. So it is so much. And what makes this so, so hard is for our sprint, we start at um, to like 12 is our sprint heat. We walk back for the final. Then we walk back and do our relay. Like within like half an hour, we've done like four races, which normally you have like two hours rest between your heat and your final. And then another funny thing about this competition is normally like you have your heat runs and then the top four make it to the semi or to the final. So you have to like earn your spot in the final. At this comp, they have A finals and B finals because obviously everyone needs to be able to get a point for their team. So if you come like maybe fifth in your heat in the sprint and you don't make the final, at a normal comp, you'd be like, oh, I didn't make it. And then like the positive would be, oh, at least I don't have to do another run. Well, at this one, you do have to do another run. You have to do a B final so they can figure out who comes ninth, 10th, 11th. It is so, so much. Hence why I brought my compression boots. And hence why I tried to have really big sleep. But I don't really feel that well rested at all, to be honest. So I'm going to get myself dressed and ready and go for a walk down to the beach. I just need to flush my legs out and walking every morning is like part of my morning routine. So I'm going to do a short little walk. I'm going to pick up my mum some milk so she, she can make a coffee when she gets here in about an hour. And then I'll come back and have brekkie and like start foam rolling and stretching and all that stuff. And then we're going to leave for the beach at 11. Guys, I just finished my walk. I walked like down the street to Kuji along the beach. I could so live here. I love this place so, so much. I went to this grocery store called Maloney's and oh my God, I was in heaven. I'm gonna put a little picture here of what they had. I felt like I was at Air One, which is like my dream. Okay, we're pretty much ready. My mum's just arrived. She's just in the bathroom and I've got my boots on. I'm just doing 15 minutes before we leave. In about half an hour. Points off the ground. Go, Olivia! Turn with the line closest to that other water moment, Topman as well. It's Vixen one, Vixen one, Olivia. Vixen two, 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 Vix
hopefully I'm praying I wake up not sore. Given how much I've done, I should be extremely sore, but pray to the gods. Good morning, guys. It's day two. It's 6 a.m. We finished yesterday at 4, and today we have a 7 a.m. start, so just getting myself dressed and ready. I'm so tired. I went to bed at, like, like 8.30, woke up, like, just before 6, so I had a big sleep, but, like, just didn't feel like enough. Soreness, I'm not too bad. I thought I'd be a lot worse. I'm sore, but I'm, like, equally sore everywhere, so it's, like, manageable. I'm not just sore in one spot, but, um, my sunburn is, like, pretty bad. My watch tan got really burnt. I don't know if you can, like, see that, but that, like, kills because that part of my skin hasn't seen the sun in so long. So I'm about to, like, lather myself in sunscreen before I head down, even though we're racing at, like, 7.30, just so I don't forget. I just feel, like, really dehydrated. I literally remembered before that, like, I am someone that, like, needs to pee, like, every half an hour because I drink so much water. I drank so much water yesterday and I didn't pee for 12 hours, so my body was just, like, absorbing everything. All right. Bye, guys. Well, the A final underway for the ladies. Out fast, as expected, the girls so strong across the field. Middle of the field, though, Amelia Rowe from the Double Pearlers. Olivia Mayer at the top there. Is it going to be the Pearlers or the Marlins? Yeah, maybe a majority of ladies have gone first, but again, I love the confidence of the Seabulls. Go live. Go live. New South Wales, super strong at the moment. WA Sunset's going to work. Yes, it'll be up. Four down the third, shoulder in front of the moment. New South Wales, Olivia, coming back, coming back. Make it there, y'all. Coming back, coming back. Make it there, y'all. Yes. Oh, uh, they go, race runner. This is Super Cooper now as well. We'll do it again in the scoop. We have a congestion. And after uh, the last 20 start, they'll probably say the centre of the moment is probably less. It's a little bit softer. It's not the team that's through the swells as they go out. You can see Tally Massey, Lizzie Wildlock, a number that could probably... Okay, excuse the outfit, but day two recap. It was a full game hard. We literally did so many runs like back to back that there were like i saw three different people throwing up between their races like everyone had a heat stroke there was like one guy literally throwing up on the start line he had to run away come back and run and like it was hectic but um we did well we did better i got second in my sprint this time um and it was like a very close finish so i was happy with that then we had our relay last yesterday we dropped the baton and ended up coming last but this time we came third, which was good. And then in flags, I came second. Yesterday I came sixth, maybe. Um, so that was definitely better. But in the third, the run between first, second and third, like the top three, I dove funny and you'll see in the video. And I like strained my glute and then had to obviously run the final. And like I can run, but it's like a bit sore and I'm just praying I wake up and it's like, 90% better. I just like diving is just really hard. I can sprint though. I can run and I can walk and I can jog fine. I just can't like dive for a flag and rotate. So I'm going to spend the rest of the Arvo on the recovery boots. I'm going to book into the recovery bar and do hot and cold pools just to get my body right because I've got a whole day left tomorrow. And I'm also not naked by the way. Then we watched the Iron Series which was fun and then had lunch now coming home and chilling and then we've got dinner at mateo at six o'clock which i'm so excited for because i just need food and i need like pasta pizza like i just need carbs to get through tomorrow i just did hot and cold pools at the recovery center i feel so much better i never do hot and cold pools because i fucking hate the cold but it was really good dinner fit check I think I can't fit myself in. Good morning, it's 5.45. I got up a little bit earlier today because yesterday I could still taste my breakfast on the start line. I'm so, so tired. I'm pretty sure I had like 10 hours sleep, but I feel like I've had about two. I'm actually not too sore, which I'm happy about. Um, it's just my glute that I hurt yesterday is a little bit sore, but I'm gonna have to do a big warm up to make sure I don't get injured today. 
I need lots and lots of caffeine too. It's going to be a huge day because we pretty much go straight from the last race to the airport and fly home. Okay, my recovery is at 47, which is not too bad because yesterday I was only at 40. So, I'm happy with that. Let's get it. Come on, Liam! Let's go, Liam! Up! Go, Olivia. Go, go, go! Good start. I just got to my car at the airport and it's never felt so good to be home. I did crap today, but I don't care. I'm just happy to be home. We survived. Um, better conditions though, it wasn't boiling hot. It was actually very windy. Um, major head and tail winds. Um, my body is absolutely cooked. I feel like every muscle is on the verge of tearing. Um, but yeah, hope you guys liked this vlog and I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I just thought I would just do the whole week, including my racing. I was going to do a few little small ones, but thought why not just do it all together. So thank you for watching. I love you guys if you made it this far and I'll see you next week. I promise.